Okay, so this is the home of Cramlington Cricket Club. Um, it's a porter cabin, which is about 40 foot long by 10 foot wide. You can take you around the outside so you can have a, uh, a look at its condition. Get a, a feel for the type of problems we have. So just coming around to the side, you can see that we've got a broken window. And up the top, you can see where the outer layer of the wall is coming away causing water to get in, various puncture wounds in the outer skin. Coming round the back, you can see that um, the outer wall is completely peeled away, uh, caused by water getting in. Um, we tried to repair it with plywood, but water's got in the plywood, caused that to peel back and just expose the bare skin underneath. The, the club paid for this uh, porter cabin in 2010. We exhausted our funds. What we couldn't do was pay for a concrete bed on which to sit it. So it's based on railway sleepers, which means it's not fully level, uh, which means that the walls and the, the, uh, the ceilings and floors are out of kilter, even gaps for the water to get in. So we walk around the other side. Again, if you look at the wall, you can see places where the outer skin has been worn away or punctured, where water is getting in. The roof leaks as well, we'll, we'll come to that shortly. Let's go around the other side. Give you a view of the back of the, the hut. Again, if you look at that, you can see that it's the, the walls aren't completely vertical, and you can see where there's there's rot and mould on the back of the uh, exterior wall. Hopefully, we'll get another shot there. Right, let's have a look at the inside. I'll be frightened to, to actually get up on the roof and have a look at the roof now because it's been so weakened by water. I don't think that person uh, could stand on the roof without going through. So if you have a look at the door, you can see this is a plate steel door, bottom hinge, it's snapped off, meaning that the door is just precariously balanced on the one hinge. And the door itself weighs about six stone. Obviously, it's a health hazard to, to any anybody who's walking in and out, especially a child who fell on a child, it would cause serious harm. So we walk inside. The first thing we see is um, where water has caused uh, softening of the, the wood on the floor, and spikes treading over it have caused it to, to rot away. It's it's not in the best of condition. Coming inside, this is one of our storage cupboards. We can see where. Water is getting in uh, where the ceiling joins the wall, moving all the way down. Doors off its frame. Uh, home changing room. The door frame is split, completely broken. Door is off the hinges. Coming in here, you can see where the, the, one of the problem points in the roof where water is getting in. And it's causing the roof to come down, to run down the walls, causing the walls to become damaged, soft, uh, and a, a bit of damp on the floor as well, where the, the wood's rotting away. Various puncture marks in the wall, caused by who knows what, but damage is there to be seen. Windows are broken, they don't shut properly. Now, obviously, we, we've got lights in here, but we don't have any electricity or water, so it, it's a standalone uh, building structure. This is the other storage facility. We've got lots of club gear here because we, we run lots of uh, junior coaching sessions so it's important we have um, secure storage for all of the, the equipment we have. If you look on the, the wall there you can see mould and rot uh, which keeps coming back no matter how many times we wipe it off. Into the away changing now. The store's actually on its hinges, it works not too badly but you can see Outer skin is coming away. 
This is the, the door which has fallen off this storage facility. So we come in here there, we've, we've had a bit of light rain outside today. This is the away changing room and hopefully you can catch the water that's coming in. Let's see what I mean. So you get an idea of the state of the, the surface. You know, it's just, it's rotten away. It's, someone's got to go through that before the end of the season. And there's the wall with the, uh, the water damage on that as well. The seats, the benches are covered in mould. The windows smashed. Um, puncture marks on the skin. So that should give you an idea of the, the type of condition that the facility we have is in. We've done our best to repair it uh, and keep the pitch side facility in place, but we're fighting a losing battle here. This is going to have to be condemned uh, by the end of the end of this season. What perhaps the camera doesn't pick up is the, the, the flimsiness of the whole structure. I mean, you, you can see that door frames are loose, but the walls, there's lots of give in the walls. And if I jump up and down, the whole building literally shakes. So that's it. I hope it gives you an idea of uh, the issues we face and how stark our need is.